Hey, hello, Cyrus. Here we are with another amazing artist. Okay? The artist we're going to talk about it today, and we're going to get inspiration from her work, is Miss Simone Lee. Did you hear? That's Miss Simone Lee. Miss Simone Lee is an African American artist who was born in Chicago, and now she lives here in New York City, she has a studio in New York City, she works in New York City. And she has built one of the most amazing and beautiful sculptures you would ever see. If you have a chance, go to New York City. The name of that sculpture is the Brick House. That's her building here, and that's the Brick House. Now, the Brick House is huge. Do you see how big it is? It's 16 feet tall. And it's on top of a plane that is even bigger. So the Brick House is a sculpture that is in New York City in the High Line. If you haven't been there yet, go, you know. It's a matter of fact, Mr. Souza was there a couple of weeks ago, and I saw the Brick House, and I was like, unbelievable. When I saw it, I told myself, I said, I have to show this to my students because they're going to love it. So, listen a little bit how Miss Lee got the idea for the breakout. So, Miss Lee is an African American. So, what she likes to do is, besides being an African American, she's a woman. And she likes to use women as her subject, which means she likes to do sculpture with the women because she thinks that women are very strong and that's how they should be seen. Okay? And she took the idea of the brick house from African culture but also from African American culture so she was inspired by mommy's cupboard restaurant in Natchez Mississippi yes you see it here this one so this is a restaurant in Mississippi that Miss Simone has seen it and it was part of her inspiration for the work but it was not the only thing. And she was also inspired by the old bee houses made of clay from Cameroon and Africa. So she got those two inspirations together and she built a female character, okay? With the braids that were inspired by characters from the TV and has no eyes because she said she doesn't want it to get a personal view. She doesn't want it to look like one person. That's why she didn't put the eyes. So she wanted to look like everybody. She wanted people to go there and look at her sculpture and feel and say, wow, that could be me. So her sculpture is amazing. If you have a chance, go to the High Line and take a look at Simone Lee's Brick house. And I'm telling you, you're going to feel like Mr. Sosa. You're going to be like, wow. Because that's what it is. It is amazing. Okay? And it's surrounded by huge buildings. And she painted all black. And it's beautiful. And I'm also going to put a quick movie for you there to see how it was built. Because she started the brick house in clay. And then they had to take a mold like they had to go around and build around and then they send it to a foundry, a foundry where they make metal. So metal, that's bronze, that's what it is, so it's a metal, it's very, very hard, okay? And then they had to take that mold and they had to pour the very, very, very hot metal on it and to make the sculpture and then you will see it. So I have a quick movie there that they make about it. So take a look, check it out, okay? Now, this project, I was thinking about making only for second grade, but because I thought the brick house is such a sculpture and I wanted to share with everybody, so we're going to do it for first grade and we're going to do it for kindergarten. Now, kindergarten, we're going to use a lot of tape, so if you need a little help, you know what? Ask mom and daddy to help you, okay? And if you wanted to paint, when it's time to paint, if you wanted to use gloves, you can use it. I'm not going to use gloves because you know what? I like my hands very messy. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move to the table and I'm gonna show you how yourself 
can make your own brick house inspired by one of the most amazing artists from New York City. Yes, Miss Simone Let's go to the table. Here we go. Okay, so you're gonna need paper, a cup. I like a yogurt cup better. Scissors, okay. Uh, you need a string. You need a tape. Masking tape is better than clear tape, okay? Scissors, of course. Your brush, black paint, okay? And you have a place to put your paint. So cut a strip of the paper. We're gonna save it for the neck, okay? So save it for later. Then get the paper, crush it until you make a ball. So crush with your two hands, okay? Crush, 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 and keep crushing until you think you have a ball. So that's gonna be the head. Then you're gonna have to wrap paper around. What I like to do is I like to save the tape in a place so it's easy for me. You see how I'm doing like with my cup? Sometimes I use a corner off the table, okay? So that's something you can do. Now, wrap some tape around the ball to keep the ball sturdy, okay? See why I'm doing it? All right, so I want a ball and I put in tape so the ball doesn't move. Now, I'm gonna make the neck. So I'm gonna take a strip of paper. I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna wrap it to my thumb. See, I'm gonna wrap it to my thumb. Right now, I'll take one of those pieces of tape that I have in there. See that? See? So I have the neck. Right now, I'm gonna cut a little shorter. Okay, see that? So a little neck. Now, I'm gonna use the tape and I'm going to connect the head to the neck. See, look what I'm doing. So I'll put one piece, I connect. Then I'm gonna put another piece on the other side, right? So the neck doesn't move. See why it's easier to have your tape placed somewhere, okay? So it's much easier, okay? Now I'm gonna put more tape because I don't wanna run out of tape, okay? See what? Sometimes I use my table, look what I do, see? I put it right there on the table. So it's easy to use. That, so you cut some piece, all right? Okay, now, Let's finish up that neck. Now, I'm gonna measure the hair. So I want a braid to be the size of the head. See that? And neck together. So I'm gonna cut four pieces. If you have a black one, use a black one. I didn't have a black one, so I had to use that color. Okay, all right? Now, I'm gonna put one piece of tape and I'm gonna connect one. Okay, see that? So I connect one. Now, I'm gonna put the other one very close by. See that? Okay. So now I have two. Now I have two in one side. I'm gonna cut to be the same side, see that? Okay, adjusting. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the house because Mrs. Lee painting, Mrs. Lee sculpture, I'm sorry, it has two braids, see? So I'll put one, okay? And then I'll put the other one in my tape. See how that's why it's so important to save my tape in there, okay? Now, if it's too long, I just adjust with the scissor. See, look, I get it, I cut it, I cut it. Now, look, see my head there? Ha ha, that's great. So I'm just gonna put a little more tape, okay? Looking very, very good. So a little more tape here and there. Now, I'm gonna add a long piece of tape to connect to my yogurt cup, okay? Look, see, I'm gonna put it there so you can see better, All right? Now, look, you see this? Now, I have to go slowly. See, look, I put one, and I connect, right? Now, I'm gonna have to put on the other side or the head is gonna fall, look. See that? Oh, it just fell. See that? Now, there you go. So I'll put another one, okay? Make sure to press that tape in place. So I'm gonna put as much tape as I can to hold everything in place. See that? Okay, so I'll keep going, keep going. Maybe one more piece of tape there, right? To hold everything together and Maybe just one more right here and there. And when I finish up with the tape, I'm going to be ready to paint. Okay? Here we go. And I'm ready to paint. Woohoo! Let's paint it!
<laughs> Look at this. Uh, like, woo! I have my own brick house, right? Maybe I'm gonna send a picture to Miss Simone Lee if I could, right? But she's so famous, I don't think she's gonna pay attention to me. But you know what? That's my own brick house, inspired by one of the most beautiful artwork I ever seen. Okay, you see? It even gives me a chill just to think about it. I'm gonna go back there. Next week I'm gonna go on. I'm not having school, so I'm gonna go back there. Okay? So look at this, right? Isn't that beautiful? Right? It's not as beautiful as Miss Simoli's brick house, but it's inspired by her. And that's what art makes to us, you know? When you see something that inspires you, you want it to do the same, so you can get that inspiration and go further, right? Look, here is my brick house inspired by Miss Simoli. So, I want to see yours. I want to see the one you're going to build, and I want to see your own brick house inspired by Simone. Now, little tip, okay? I like to use masking tape because masking tape is better to paint. If you haven't used just the plastic tape, but the other plastic tape, you know, it doesn't, the paint doesn't stick too well. Now, if you have black string to use for the brick, you don't need to paint it, okay? But I didn't have, so I have to paint it mine, all right? But it looks so cool, right? Just like Miss Simone. Look. Right? I mean, not as good because, you know, it took her more than a year. Yes, it took her more than a year to build the brick house. So it was a very, very long process. And my, I just made it in a couple of minutes, right? So, got it? So, looking forward to see your brick house inspired by Miss Simone Lee. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.